Uh, there's a Charmander! Yes! <laughs> that is brilliant. I might not have played that Charmander, but there is in fact a Charmander on the field. I, I'd be tempted to really want him. Okay, so let's find a trainer card. Let's grab the letter, because again, having that extra energy, always a good thing. Can I use it immediately? I can. Fuck it, might as well. Don't know the benefit of doing so or not doing so. We'll have the psychic energy, because there's more of it. And Wobbuffet relies on psychic energy. Curlio relies on psychic energy. A lot more of this deck seems to rely on psychic energy than dark energy. Um, in fact, I think the, the dog wolfy thing, Zoroark Zor and uh, whatever the pre prevolution. <laughs> well, that's inconvenient that it's got en Ember. Although Ember has to have... You're having to sacrifice an energy card for that, which is interesting, because it might give me... It might give Noibat just that little bit of a chance to... Oh, it's a Nidoran. I wondered what the fuck it was. I couldn't tell from the artwork. Uh, it's a Nidoran female. Yes, it is. Uh, so, yeah. Ember's going to have to ditch the energy, which gives me possibly a little bit of... Oh, there we go. Zora. Uh, he relies on dark energy, which is a shame because I no longer have any dark energy. We'll stick an energy on on the Wobbuffet, I think. Um, and then we'll blot the Charmander, who will give me a little bit of health back. And if he's not got any energy, I might be able to not die. Uh, if he does have energy. <laughs> he does have energy. I'm dying. You don't actually need the extra 20, but I suppose the card draw is good. But I would have thought... I don't know. feels like it would have been better and more beneficial for him if he had not specifically done that. But I don't know. Okay. Professor's Letter again. We might as well utilise it. We'll do one of each. And we'll try and get, I suppose... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Wally to hopefully... Op uh, to Zoroark, yes. Uh, although he doesn't actually have many benched Pokemon, does he? Uh, so my only options are Zoroark and Noivern. We'll do that one. He's got, I suppose he's got a few benched Pokemon. And then, I suppose arguably I don't actually need a Dark Energy on him. So we'll use the Psychic Energy there. And then we'll Mirror Barrier and hope for the best, I suppose. Did not get the mirror barrier, so possibly in for another 30 ember damage. Awesome. Thank you. Lovely. Delightful. Oh, another 50, because he's got another kukwe. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it seemed a reasonable enough pronunciation when I said it. Uh, so, ghastly. Okay. We'll stick ghastly down. We'll get ghastly energized with some energy. Uh, so, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch this Pokemon with your active Pokemon. Uh, I could stall, but I don't think he's going to be able to kill me. And Mirror Barrier is probably a better stall if it works. It worked. Right. So, we've got a little bit of time. Uh, I don't really know what I can do with this little bit of time. Oh, there's a Farfetch'd. Oh, we've immediately lost. Whoever gets Farfetch'd out first is clearly the winner. Um... What's that, Ponyta? Yes, it is. Uh, oh, and there we have Nidorina. So you've got Nidorina. You've got your Ember back in action. Christ almighty. Are you actually you're discarding it, or are you sending it back to the hand? No, you are discarding it, so... I don't know. That doesn't seem like a great idea for the fella, but... Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll stick our second energy there. Right, and now... Yeah, if I use Stand-In... He can take over. Then he can use Mind Jack, which does 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So we're doing a lot of damage, a lot of damage, with our super dark attack, which means we've got... Ah, oh, that's going to be handy next time. And you have no energy for attacks at the moment. I grant you, he's been dicking around with Charmander quite a lot, and you never know, he might have some kind of fancy way of putting energy from the graveyard um the discard pile that's my that's my Yu-Gi-Oh that's my sort of first ever card game was the TV series Yu-Gi-Oh 
and thus what was that that's that's from your discard pile is that into the deck i'm hoping that was into the deck but that there you go that ladies and gentlemen into the deck is how you get all that wasted charmander energy back so let's put a teddy ursa on the field or on the bench rather let's draw those three cards because it's almost always worthwhile um I'll stick a Psychic Energy on Teddy Ursa to try and get the flop. And then I think we'll Mind Jack again. I think... Does that kill it? I didn't really pay attention. It looks like it did kill it. So we now got another Dark Energy available. That's handy. Although, of course, I am... As I'm ploughing through his bench... Uh, I'm, I'm winning, yes. Or, I mean, I'm ahead at the moment in terms of prize cards. But I am losing power on the Mind Jack, which is not great news. Well, I thought he was I thought that was putting straight on the bench, which meant he was straight up powering me up again, which would have been delightful. But uh, no, they go to his hand. But technically, he does have to put him on the bench at some point. Otherwise, oh, no. It, oh, OK. Wow. Thanks for super powering. Unless he can kill me. No, he can't. You just super powered my Zoroark. Um, again. Right, put another one of them on him. We'll, we'll build the energy. I think this is another technique I've stolen off of Mr. Calibur. I'll try and keep the Ursa Ring secret so that he doesn't necessarily know that I have the Ursa Ring. But then again, Zoroark, I, uh, I don't know. He's, he's struggling to evolve anything, it seems. Whilst he's also still putting a lot of stuff... Oh, draw... T oh, right, hang on. Tool Buster. Slowly but surely, he is defeating me. But hopefully I can defeat him just that touch quicker. And as such... Oh, I've got, I've got the shiny version there. I don't like that. I don't like that card. Because you have to discard an energy... Although, having said that, that is 120 damage. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll we'll shove him there. Then, oh, did I use a supporter? Yes, I did. I used Terno. Ah. That may, that may come back to haunt me. Literally, with Mistrevious here. Um, we'll put energy. Oh, what am I doing? Putting dark energy on that. Oh, well, that's, that's unfortunate. We're now having to rely entirely on Zoroark because I desperately need to not have to rely on Mistrevious, who now has the wrong energy on her. I I wasn't paying attention. I just... I, I, the problem is, I've been seeing a lot of normal, like Teddy Ursa, just shove anything on it. Uh, Zoroark, shove anything on it. Unfortunately, at that point, I didn't have anything else available. So, there you go. Oh! We have ourselves a Charmeleon. That could be an issue. Although, oh, no, there is energy available there. Uh, shuffle five Pokemon from your discard pile. Oh, apparently it can't physically do that. I'm, I'm astonished he's continued to put Pokemon on the bench. I don't understand that tactic. It's it's confusing me. Uh, I am... It's oh, Yeah, I'll do it now. Get rid of that 50 damage. Uh, just in case he suddenly comes back with a humongous hit, but it, I, I don't. Maybe he's not paying attention to Mind Jack's ability. But you'd think you would possibly try and keep. Wow! All of my dark energy. No wonder it looked so low when I was searching for energy. All of my dark energy is in uh, the bloody prize pile. So we've seen a Charmeleon. Evolve it to a Charizard. Go on, please. Then we can see. Oh, he gave up. I think. I suppose one prize card left. I mean, you could have let me have that. You, but that was actually... A, whoa! Holy shit! Because... Uh, I wish he'd let me actually attack him. Because then it would have been a truly legit win. But I suppose, arguably, this is this is probably about as legitimate a win as I'm going to have gotten. As I'm going to have gotten? No. <laughs> I don't think that's uh, a sentence that should be constructed. But... It, it's the most legitimate win I'm going to have had. 
So I'm quite pleased with that because I get my treasure chest. I get a legitimate win, mostly. I mean, he clearly quit on me, but that's based, I suppose, loosely on the fact that he vaguely knew he was not going to survive the next attack. Oh, where's this treasure chest? Do I not? Oh. Um, game. Do I get to open the treasure chest? Or do the tre does that come later? No, because I mean the poke the the poker tokens, they've all come now. So is it is there a treasure chest in my collection? Oh, there's some packs. And yes, there's a chest and there's a pack. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We've gone out on a bit of a high because we've actually managed a legitimate win. Uh which is nice. So what we'll do is I think in some way, shape, or form, we'll open this pack. And I, I must admit, this game, I really quite like for this. Because it actually asks you. It's a little bit obnoxious. I must admit, a lot a lot of the elements of this game are kind of obnoxious. The whole ding-ding bell and the shaking of the card. Do something. Do something. Do something. And this sort of... Come on, come on. Rip it open. Rip it open. The, the, the entire structure of this game is very impatient. And I'm not sure I like that, but open the new booster pack. But I do like the way it rips because that's a very nice way, and it's it, it you know it's that real, it's that sense of real way. So let's see what we got. We got uh, steel energy, we got a magnemite, we've got a sneasel, a patarisu, uh, a bunari, a cherubi, but a knitted cherubi. Oh wow, that's. That's quite nice. I quite like that. It's it's kind of cool. I don't particularly like Cherubi, but I, I I like and the felt trees. Whoever built that is quite clever. I quite like that car. It's quite nice. None of the others. All the others are sort of fairly standard art art. Whereas that one's quite clever with it being sort of woolen and knitten, knitted, knitted and woolen. Manaphy, uh, Gabite. Grotal, which is dangerously close to Scrotal, Magneton, and finally, ba -da 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 -da, Tapu Lele, who I'm led to believe is possibly quite good, or at least in some way, shape, or form, in some form. 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So that could be quite potent. And in fact, that would have been a hell of a thing against that. Um, that fella who was stacking a lot of energy on his Gallade because that he would have fucked up there. Let's open our chest, see what we get. Open your reward chest. Yes, please. Ten poker tokens and one good draw. I have legitimately never heard of Gudra. I know nothing of Gudra. Apart from the fact that apparently it requires fairy energy, but is also weak to fairy energy, I think. Is that the weakness? Yeah, I think that's the weakness there. And the retreat cost is high as well, but... Uh, and what's that symbol? Is that fight-based? I don't know. I mean, Beat Slider and Power Whip suggest it might be fighty, but that might be the fight symbol. I'm not sure. Please do feel free to say that's not the fight symbol you fool you know nothing you know nothing j dragon snow j dragon snow <laughs> uh anyway so we've unlocked that uh what are these oh these are the deck boxes because again because i i physically bought them which introduced me to this whole thing i get the deck boxes for those too uh i get uh plentiful coins available although i don't I don't know how I got those coins, but I got them. Uh, Avatar, apparently nothing. So let's go back to the main area. I'm fairly confident we've had approximately two hours of the Pokemon trading card game. Not all of it good. Not all of it good. Mostly, it was shit. Because I am terrible at the Pokemon trading card game. But, at the very least, we may not have seen a Charizard, but we did see a Charm... Hang on, wait. I might be able to re remedy that. Go to the shop. Let's see if we can uh, 
can we? Yes, here we go. And look, there's a Charizard. And you, you'll find out why it's important to me to be displaying a Charmander, a Charmeleon and a Charizard very shortly. But until then, I'm not going to ramble, despite the fact that I've just started rambling. We're going to go straight into... And now for something completely different.